it is Saturday um, and I thought it might be fun to do a little sort of weekend vlog. Um, we were talking about this last night, Dan and I, because we dropped the girls off at their brownies. Well, Phoebe goes to brownies and Lilia is a young leader, so she helps out on a Friday night. And we thought, we'll go for a drink. We never get to do that together. Sorry, my eyes now watery. Um, so we went to the pub next door to the church where the brownies happens and we had a drink together. And we were talking and I was saying how much I love making vlogs, but how it's not really possible to continually do daily vlogs. Um, and then I said, I'd just like to do the occasional sort of weekend vlog about how I fit my crafts and my knitting and my crochet into my sort of weekends or my life. So then I came up with the word <laughs> Woolality TV. And he just groaned and was like, that's terrible. So I was like, that's the word. So this is my first Woolality TV vlog. It's just going to be the weekend, today and tomorrow. And it's going to be about how I fit my crafting and primarily my knitting and crochet into my life. Um, so today obviously is a weekend. Um, so there's no work or school today. But Saturdays are a very busy day. Um, Phoebe has swimming um, at 10 o'clock. No. Yes, 10 o'clock. I always forget if it's 10 or half 10. But she has something at 10 o'clock and um, at the same time, my eldest daughter goes to her drama school on a Saturday morning, 10 till 1, so Dan will take her. And then we get Phoebe home and then Lilia comes back and then we take Phoebe to her drama school in the afternoon. They go to the same drama school but different sessions. So we run around a bit, but it's great because we get to spend lots of individual time with one or other of the children. And they absolutely love their drama school. Um, today I'm going to be picking Lilia up because she wants to go charity shop shopping. Um, I'm currently in my bedroom um, and this is something else I wanted to share over the coming months because this year, um, dare I do a little pan around. <laughs> so this year um, we're going to be doing our bedroom. It's the one room we haven't touched since we moved in five years ago. Um, it needs a complete redecoration. Um, it needs it needs stripping and either plastering or re-wallpapering. It needs new wardrobes. We need to update the um, and clean and um, sort out the fireplace. Um, we need new carpets. We need new furniture. Everything needs doing in this room. So um, that's going to happen this year. And I thought maybe I could um, include that in my Woolality TV um, segments as I go throughout the year. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the little bits you would have seen in the opening sequence of this video and explain what they are. They're all stuffed just on the chest of drawers next door to my bed. So this is a basket that Dan got some little gifts in at Christmas and I thought it would be perfect for some minis. So I've got some minis that um, a lovely viewer of this podcast, Shelley, sent to me. They're all from Richard De Vries um, yarns. Let's see if I can show you the little tag. So it's going blurry. There we go. So I've got a load from Richard De Vries in there and I've also got a load of minis that Helen from Giddy Yarns sent me, um, which I've popped in there. So these are all some lovely minis. So they're there um, to admire whilst I work out what to do with them. And then these little um, stitch markers, um, also the little um, macaron came with the Giddy Yarns. And I can't remember where this one came from. I've got a few of these, but it's just so pretty on the basket. Now I've got some books that I got for Christmas down here. I've got the Convenience Store Woman uh, that my mum got me. I've got uh, Moonlight Over Mayfair, which is the second book from Anton Dubeck, who is one of the dancers from Strictly Come Dancing. That I didn't get for Christmas. That is the uh, last issue of Pom Pom Magazine. And then I've got an old photo here of Dan and I. Um, Dan found an old wallet and there was an old photo of us. We look so young. So I'm gonna put that in my little scrapbook. I've got this. Whoop. This is my little scrapbook. It was damaged when I took the label off it, but I don't mind, because it's just for all the little bits and bobs that the kids sort of give me, you yeah, know, little notes and things like that. And I, I don't know ever where to put them, so I just pop them in here. Um, and any little receipts or anything that I feel that I just wanna keep as a memory goes in my little scrapbook. That was from Wilkinson's. So I'm going to pop that in my scrapbook later. I've got this basket of stuff. This whole area is a bit of a dumping ground until we get our bedroom done. Um, so 
so I've got some lovely little bits and pieces that have been gifts and some yarn that um that's yarn I dyed with Phoebe. Don't ask me why I've got rope there, that's a long story. I've got my mitten blockers and various other bits, and then I've got tons of books in the run up to being read and some little decorative things that were gifts. That was from Jane and little books and I've got an Edward Hopper print that I bought in New York in 2004 and still haven't framed it. <laughs> and then down here, um, I'm just getting Phoebe's swim stuff ready. That's her swimming bag. And then these two books, this is the book I read with Phoebe at the moment every night. She loved Wonder. And this is a bit of a rubbish book that I bought before Christmas, but I couldn't get into it. And I ended up reading A Christmas Carol instead. Um, so I might try and give that a go. If not, it'll go to the charity shop. Right, I've got three projects that I'm gonna be um, working on over the course of the weekend. I will show you the other two um, shortly. Um, but this is the one I'm gonna be taking to swimming with me. So Phoebe's swimming lessons, only half an hour, but it's a good opportunity to sit and have a bit of a knit or a crochet. Um, so I'm gonna open up this and show you what's inside. This is my bag from Coco and Flora, lovely Eva. Um, Eva has a podcast on YouTube as well that's definitely worth going to check out. She did an absolutely lovely Vlogmas series. And that has even got a little matching stitch marker that matches the umbrellas. I'll just show you inside. Okay, so this is the inside. It's got a lovely little matching pocket and polka dots. And, oh, I just love it. So that's my bag. Um, oh, I've also got, that was inside it, some little stitch markers. I'll show you. It's another little um, umbrella and then the little droplets are little drops of wonderful. And there's even a little bit of lining that matches the bag. She's, she's really good at putting these little details in. Uh, the yarn that I'm using for this project is called Hot Socks with cashmere. It's Grundle yarn. And this is what I'm making. This is Dan's socks. I've been making these for ages because I keep putting them to one side. Um, so this is the first sock. And this is where I am. I'm on my way, well on my way to the toe. I'll just move that so we've got a bit more light. So yeah, I really like this yarn. It's really nice colours. Um, it's really nice to work with. And I'm just using a, I think this is a little French Meadow Mini. Can't remember now. Um, for the contrast heel and also the contrast toe. Just hope I've got enough actually, looking at that, because I've got to do the other sock as well. Uh, the other sock is way behind. As you can see, I haven't even got to the heel. Um, and this is a... Um, extra long DPN holder from Rachel at So Re Me, and my other DPN holder was made for me by Suzanne at Inside Number Twenty Two. It's got a lobster on it. I just about see him there. <laughs> um, and then I've got all my little notes that I've been scribbling down here, so I remember what I did on the first sock when I come to do the second sock. But I need to transfer that today into my sock notebook, so I will do that later. But anyway, this is what's coming with me to swimming. So we're not long back from um, swimming and Phoebe's just finishing off in the bath. Um, I'm just going to get some socks on because my feet are very cold and I'll show you the socks that I'm wearing today. Um, I was knitting on Dan's socks at the pool, so that was really good. I think I'm almost ready to do the toes, so I'm going to get him to try one of them on later. I'll be happy once that first sock is done because I'll know then exactly what I'm doing with the second sock and it's just a case of following the um, notes that I've um, written down as I go and I won't ha actually have to work anything out. Um, I've also got to sew in the ends of my advent shawl, which I finished last night, and it was really good because I was putting my last mini into it whilst we were watching uh, the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special from a, quite a few years ago, like when it was still on the telly. So it felt like it was a, a, a good thing to have come on the telly at the time I was putting my last mini into something that has been inherently Christmassy for me over the last three years. So I'll show you that in a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get these socks on. I'm going to go and update my spreadsheet for Strictly Winners so I can get ready to parcel up um, prizes to send out next week. And then I'm off to pick up our eldest daughter, Lilia. 
and we're going to go and browse around a couple of charity shops. So I will take you along with me. This has just come through the door. I ordered this yesterday. I'm just going to show you what's inside. This was only £3 on Amazon. Um, I've been listening to Fern's podcast, The Happy Place, and this is one of her books. And for only £3, um, I thought it would be worth a go. So I've just pulled up um, in the car park where I'm going to wait for Lilia, who's going to come out of her drama class school session in about 20 minutes or so. Um, so I've got my um, knitting with me. I'm going to sit and do a little bit of knitting on this. I also might edit a bit of what I've been doing today, but really I just want to knit <laughs> and listen to a podcast whilst I'm waiting for her to come out. Um, I've got a drink with me, so I'm quite happy. I purposely um, left with plenty of time, A, so that I wouldn't get stressed out and be late, and B, so I'd have 10 minutes just quiet time sitting on my own in the car, catching up on some knitting. Just before I left, um, the postman came and dropped off a parcel. Now, I hadn't ordered anything, and I certainly wasn't expecting anything. And it was a lovely gift from someone, a viewer of this podcast. She had got a a copy of Simply Crochet and with it was the 2020 calendar and I can't remember the reason why she didn't need it either she already had one or she wasn't going to use it but it had Moomins on it and she knows how much I love the Moomins um, so asked if she could send it to me which she did but she also popped in uh, some lovely little extras for the girls and for me so I took a little bit of film of those things which I shall pop in here so you can see. <laughs> and do the hoovering and then demolish my cake. I want to show you the bargains we got in the charity shop. So what we were going for is to get a few bits that Lydia wants to paint and um, specifically she wanted to have a go. She's seen people on YouTube painting old records. So these records are all old, none of them had sleeves and they're all completely um, damaged and scratched. So she's going to be painting them with different designs. And we also got one in a sleeve, because she wants one to decorate the sleeve. And we decided to get one that we figured no one would probably end up buying. Wait for it. Wowzers. Now, that is pure 80s, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, I should have issued a warning before showing that. <laughs> but while we were there, I had a look at the DVD section. 
Uh, now, one of the things I want to do this year is to be a bit more um, use things from stash, reuse, recycle. So um, this is a Blu-ray one, it's pan. We've never seen it, we've always wanted to. So I got that for a pound. And if we don't feel that we wanna keep it or we won't watch it again, we'll just give it straight back to the charity shop. Then we were trying to download this all Christmas on Netflix or Amazon and it just didn't show up. And there it was in the charity shop and the charity shop were doing five DVDs for one pound. So again, if they don't, if we don't feel like we want to keep them, we'll just give them straight back to the charity shop. So we've got the Muppet Christmas Carol, which I'm really excited about. Sliding doors I used to have on VHS tape. So I figured I need to get the DVD version. I haven't seen it in ages and I'm going to try and watch that later in the week. I might force Dan to watch it. Hairspray I've never seen, but the girls absolutely um, love it. They do it a lot of drama um, school. So we've got that to watch. Mean Girls is one that um, Lilia wanted to get. Um, she, I don't think she's ever seen it all the way through, so she wanted to see that. Um, I think I might have seen it, but a long time ago. And then this we've never seen before either. Um, so again, we thought we'd buy it and then we'll just give it back to the charity shop. So it's kind of on loan. <laughs> um, yeah, it's the History Boys with, um, uh, it's a comedy by Alan Bennett and it's got James Corden in it, who is uh, famous for doing Gavin and Stacey and The Late Late Show. Talk about charity shop bargains. my um, advent shawl last night. Um, I think I'm going to call it finished now. I've been working on this for three years with um, advent minis from a swap I do with my friend Lily who has the Nordic Stitches podcast. Um, I've been weaving in ends as I go pretty much but not this year so I've got um, quite a lot of ends here as you can see to weave in. Now fortunately I absolutely love weaving in ends uh, because it doesn't require any brain power so I'm going to be doing that tonight we just had dinner and we're just getting pajamas on and getting ready to be cozy because we're going to watch the masked singer which we have really been enjoying it's just so totally bonkers and I'm going to weave in all these ends whilst watching that making the seal from the Zumigurumi 8 book. It was a bit accidental. I decided to make it because um, it just looked like such a simple project and I had the yarn but very quickly ran out of the yarn because it came out quite a bit bigger than I had anticipated. So I'm working on this sort of in secret. Um, Phoebe is currently upstairs getting dressed. It's about half nine on Sunday morning. Um, yeah, so this is the main body of the seal. Um, and then at the moment, I've just been working on the flippers and then the tail part currently looks like that. And that will be sewn on to the back. Um, and then the nose is actually crocheted as well. I was worried that was embroidered, but it's actually a little crochet nose. So that's what I'm working on now. Just gonna hide this away. 
this is how far I am through the second flipper and then I just need to make the bow and assemble everything. I've just paused, oh look you can see me, <laughs> I've just paused um, Sam and Sandra on the Sandra's Cherry Heart podcast. I'm really, really behind, so I've been binge watching and I've got all of her vlogmas to get through as well. So I'm very, very happy about that because I like a binge watching things. Right, I'm gonna flip the camera around. <sighs> oh, I look tired. Um, it's about half nine on Sunday morning. Um, Dan's about to go and take the car to Halfords. We're getting a new radio fitted in the car. We've got a few long journeys this year. We're going to Scotland at Easter and uh, Brittany in August and we'll be driving for both of them so we're just getting them um, a new radio put in the car so that everyone can um, connect and play music and we can have the sat nav through it so he's doing that and then he and Phoebe are going to walk back get a bit of fresh air and once that's all completed we're going to pick the car up and we're going to go down to deal um, I'm not going to film tons of that for this little vlog um, but I will be filming a vlog about that trip for our other channel, which is This Little Wonderful Life. So um, I will link to that underneath this video once it's done. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're doing today. And I will share with you my knitting and crochet um, activities as we go along. But right now, I think I'm going to go and uh, get dressed. <laughs> about half past 12 and we're just getting ready to go out um, so I'm just making some hot chocolate in our thermos to take with us because it's going to be absolutely freezing <laughs> I have company <laughs> everyone's layering up ready for our trip to the beach it's about four degrees here it's going to be slightly <laughs> warmer on the coast about seven degrees but I think it will feel colder so nice hot drink to take with us I've just been I will fill you in shortly. <laughs> From Anna. Reality. Yeah. Right, as I was trying to say before I was rudely interrupted, <laughs> I have reached the point of the heel flap on Dan's second sock. So that's what I'm going to be working on in the car whilst we are on our way to Deal on the uh, Kent coast for the afternoon. It's one o'clock now. We won't get there till about quarter past two. So I'm going to have a bit of a nip, the girls are going to listen to music and we're just going to have a nice afternoon and finish with fish and chips. Right, we've arrived in Deal. It's blimmin' freezing. We're gonna have a look around Deal Castle before we go into actual Deal itself. <laughs> and I'm wearing my hat that Mummy made. Me. That's the Tchaikovsky hat. And I'm wearing a hat that my friend Marta made for me. And I'm wearing a hat I found in Primark. <laughs> As is Daddy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Right, it's the end of a very busy weekend and we've had an absolutely lovely day today. Deal was a lovely place to visit on a winter's afternoon and we had a really nice search around the castle and walked along the beach and found a lovely, lovely fish and chip shop where we had a lovely dinner um, with a great view of the sea. We got home about half six and we have um, all warmed up. <laughs> it's a really cold night and we've watched um, Doctor Who. Uh, Dan's just putting Phoebe to bed. Lilia's gonna do a bit more painting in the kitchen. And um, I'm gonna have a glass of wine. And I don't think I'm going to be late to bed. I am exhausted. So thank you for joining me on my first little wool alley tea. <laughs> Wool Alley TV. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little peek into how um, my knitting and crochet, both in progress and finished, fit into my um, life over a couple of days. Um, it's just a bit of fun, and um, I've certainly enjoyed making the video and putting it all together. So I hope you um, get a bit of enjoyment out of it too. Um, and if you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, I would much appreciate it. Right. I need to go and put my slippered, my crochet slippered feet up and do a couple more rows on Dan's um, socks. Although I think I'm a bit tired, so I might just leave any further knitting for tonight in case I make mistakes. I'll see you on the next podcast, which should be out a week on Tuesday, which will be, so Monday's the 20th, 21st, about the 28th of January. I'll see you then, bye. Mm -hmm.